Hello everyone and welcome to Fableheim and Total War War Hammer 2. It's been a long time. We have some new faces here in the channel. Hello, hello. This is a grand strategy RTS mix and I love it so. And at long last, I am they've added some sex appeal to this game. We are going to be playing today as Grom the Paunch. The first and only green skin playable in the Mortal Empire, not Mortal Empires, the Vortex campaign, which is shorter than the Mortal Empires. Mortal Empires is literally every race against every race. It's very large. Vortex campaign is restricted to Total War Warhammer 2 by itself and just the newer races. I say newer, but how long has this game been out? A while. Anyway, yesterday, Grom the Paunch and who was it? Altharian. We're released, so we're going to be playing as Grom the Paunch because Greenskins have finally, finally gotten their mechanic overhaul. So we're going to take a peek at it. Speaking of Greenskins, they have Dewa, allows them to call additional forces whenever they get enough reputation now these days. They can use the Underway, allows them to traverse terrain very easily. And they have an extensive roster with aggressive infantry, fast cavalry, and monsters. Look at that lad. Grom the Paunch leads the Broken Axe with the initial challenge of normal. His faction effects is that he has access to Grom's cauldron. You don't get a belly that large without a rather sizable cauldron. His suitable climate is Temperate Island, which is hilarious for Greenskins. He has a diplomatic penalty of 80 with the High Elves. We don't like him. His wall has a chance to contain Pump Wagons, a new unit added in. And the global recruitment duration minus one turn for Goblin units. Because he's a Goblin, which... Surprised me when I first learned that. <laughs> His Lord effects is that 10, plus 10 leadership when fighting against elves for the Lord's army, plus 10% physical resistance for goblin units in the Lord's army, and an upkeep reduction of 50% for chariots and pump wagons in the Lord's army. He also has regeneration, and the general wa is replaced with Grom's wa, which is a little different and stronger. <laughs> His additional starting units... Are the River Trolls a new unit? They're basically like trolls, but different. Makes sense, doesn't it? They have Aquatic and Slimy Shanks. They gain benefit when fighting in their natural watery habitats. I think they can breathe too, isn't that right? That might not be true. Overwhelming Odor. Oh, minus six melee attack in an in area is pretty good. We also have Stone Trolls, a new version of trolls. These have some magic resistance. I think that's it. Oh, and missile resistance too. Bundaba. And we have the Snotling Pump Wagon Spiky Rollers. There have been three variations of the Pump Wagons added in, which is a lot. The Spiky Rollers are probably... I haven't played around with them, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say they're really good because they apply centered armor and they have armor piercing and bonus versus infantry. They're good. So this is going to be very helpful against our natural foes, the Dawe. As always, we are playing on very hard campaign difficulty and very hard Battle difficulty, because I'm decent. Yeah. And that's it. So here we go. I've never played Grom the Paunch. I know, like, the details of the green skin changes, but we're going to discover them together. And my lore in Warhammer Fantasy is kind of shallow, so if you have anything you want to add, really about anything, leave it down below and I'll appreciate it. Here we go. The waystones that guard all elven souls grow faint. Althwan is weak, still reeling from a ferocious greenskin assault. It barely survived. The grim warden of Tor Ivres has not rested since driving back the green invasion. Prince Haltharion must be prepared. There will come a day when the Goblin King returns. It is only a matter of time. For in the desolate Southlands, a war of unimaginable power brews. Wargos Grom, most feared and most colossal of all goblins, has long craved a second chance to annihilate the Asa. That time is now. 
Althuan will drown beneath the green tide. There must come the war to end all wars. But Grom's horde will meet a wall of unstoppable Asur might. Eltharion will defend his homeland unto his dying breath. This is his vow. The Grim Prince and the Goblin King. Two souls sworn to vengeance upon each other. Dun dun dun! Ha! The Pooch is back! <laughs> Had a bit of time off, but enough rest and recuperation! Now, Grom is ready for some more fighting, looting, and most importantly, eating. Everyone thought I was done for after the punch up with the pointy heads. So now, I gotta remind all the boys who's boss. First, I was gonna smash these runty spider goblins, bring them all into submission. Next, we'll crump through the dead things in the desert. See if we can pick up a few stragglers from the Badlands on the way. <laughs> then, we're good to work. But, the big prize is on the pointy heads island across the sea. Oh, I want to have me a good rampage up there. With that crazy shaman old black tooth egging me on. He said we had to destroy everything, ah, as if I wasn't gonna. And then we ended up at the gates of that shiny old city. Yeah, the loot was good, but the fighting was better. We had us a right good scrap. Then Black Chief went and lost his head, and all the boys packed it in. Ah, gets. That grim old pointy head thinks he's won. But it's time to show him Grom is still the best. Grom is still the best. First things first. I've got to let those arachnos kids know the Goblin King's here. Ah, no better way than to take the stragglers strongholds. If they've got a problem with it, I'll just have to make giblets out of them. I love the way the greenskins talk. I have a soft spot in my heart for greenskins, but before I uh, really get on that, here's Grum. He's a tough old lad. He is always on his chariot. You can't even see him. But the chariot of Grom, I think I can, yeah, you can see it. Three wolves, huge chariot that he can just run over things with. You begin with a giant river troll hank. This is one of the newer heroes Available to the green skins? Or is it just Grom? I don't know. But the fishy tittle muncher. <laughs> great name. Also a great character because she can... Can I see it here? She can summon one of the new things that are really great. But I guess you can't see it here. Anyway, we'll get around to it. Here's the new tech tree for green skins. Also known as Big Thinking. Now, usually my rule of thumb here is to always go for casualty replenishment. Always. You rush straight there. This is a similar thing in Total War Three Kingdoms. I love rushing for replenishment. So I think we're going to do that too. But um, something... Growth would be good too. Oof. All these are great. Actually. Hmm. I think we're going to start with Gobby Gobbos. Because that's two turns. We'll grab Gobby Gobbos. We'll get Go Fasta. And then we'll get these things. Make sense? I think so. Something that is, um, well, I guess if you played Skarsnik, similar thing, but goblins can do a tremendous amount of work in Grom's army, which is kind of unusual. So, um, we're gonna let goblins do the work. Get in here. We have fighting to do. We gotta fight! Now, a few things have changed. We're gonna actually, f uh, are we? No. This is too easy. We're just going to smash that. So, at the top of the screen... 
I's the biggest round here. Ain't no one fit to rule these lands but me. If their boss don't bow to the Goblin King, I'll just do what I always do and squash him. Sounds good to me, Grum. <laughs> you have obtained some scrap, my lord. The spoils of war are not just the looted wealth of defeated foes, but also scrap materials from their weapons and armor. It can be repurposed to equip your own troops. Yes, so a number of things have changed with the greenskins. Um, one of them... Give me some gobos. We'll sit here for two Your turns. I don't mind. The violence and destruction has begun, mighty lord. Your reputation growing with every victim and settlement that falls before you. Continue warmongering, and you will eventually gain momentum enough to make the call to war. I was just about to talk about that advisor. So yes, here is Doa up here. Um, you see, with every piece of reputation we get, we have these passive bonuses. And then once you reach max, you can call a wa, and it works a little differently. It used to just be it would spawn an army whenever you reached max fightiness, was it? Anyway, it no longer does that. What it will do is it will spawn a second army inside of whatever of all the armies you have, and it will generate units every turn up to however many you have. So we want Grem the Paunch to have 20 units as soon as possible, and then we can generate a second army of 20 units inside of Grom's stack. Which is hilarious and great. Also, you put it on one um, one faction, and you go after them, and you get a trophy, depending on what the strength rank of that faction was. It's a lot better. I like it a lot. And the wall in combat has changed a little bit as well. We'll talk about that when we do fight. Now, Grom, you behold the cauldron. You are an eater, mighty lord. And your minions are no different. Collecting ingredients and throwing them in your special cauldron can imbue you and the tribe with nutritious rewards, with more exotic recipes bestowing even greater powers. Yes, so as you continue here, you unlock... Uh, each of these ingredients have different requirements, and there's also an event that happens, that should happen soon, right? Um, where you can actually purchase ingredients from a troll hack. But I'm pretty sure you need two. Whoa. Yeah. So we can't just do one turn one, we need a second thing. And something that we need to remember, and by we I mean me, we need to sack a Dwarven settlement to get the Stunty Ale. So, the Swamp Things. A lot of these will just kind of happen naturally. But uh, it's important to keep it in mind, I think. Follow Blacktooth's advice. Okay. Yeah. Most of them just happen naturally. I just need to remember to sack a Dwarven Settlement, uh, which are down here, soon. Like, we can sack Karak Zorn and then build it up again. And Scrap was mentioned. Scrap can be used to upgrade every individual thing. Yeah. And they all have different upgrades. We do require technology. I didn't know this. So where is this? Stronger how does. What? Am I blind? I might be. It's saying, I need to go all the way over here. Wait, that's for Arachnorok spiders. This is not an Arachnorok spider. Game. Hmm. What about you? Oh, I need 50 scrap for them. Well, I guess we'll just go with goblins then for now. I need sharper stab us. See, we're learning together. Okay. So sharper stab us is up here. Hmm. Maybe I've changed my mind. I do like this a lot. Heavy metal. Alright. I'm going back. We're going back to go faster. And let's see. Anything else? That's the cauldron. We have this. Starving Gobbo. Oh yeah, he gets stronger as you complete recipes, too. I think that was everything. There are a whole bunch of new units as well, and one of the things I'm really excited for is if you link your Total War Access account with your Steam account, you can get the... Oh, I'm not going to remember what it's called. It's a giant Arachnorok spider that you can have 
Black Tooth's head in a jar. There it is. That's the thing that summons the rogue idol. Call to war. Yeah, it's going to be a while. Destroy Arachnos, we can manage that. Because we're the best. Actually, you know what? We're just going to move over here and recruit them. Movement's important. Also, the camera's way too slow. That seems fine. Um, I don't remember how I fixed it, though. Do I need to go here? Yeah, here we go. So we want this for personal, fastest, fastest. Because ain't nobody got time to sit around. Hey, they've come out against me. Ooh, they have spiders. We don't have spiders yet. But this will be a good fight. Unfortunately, we don't have the rogue idol yet, which is awesome. But we do have a pretty defensible position. Which is better. It's important to note, though, that missile units are not very good for the green skins. But, uh, that's fine. It don't matter none. I'm pretty sure if Grom hasn't been changed too much, you can just kind of let him win by himself. But we'll see. We'll see what there is to happen. And, uh, here's the thing I was talking about earlier. The war. This has always been, like, a... Well, it's gone undergone a few changes. But it's a group-wide effect. Group map-wide effect. It will affect everyone, but you gain wall points as you have melee fighting happen. So, that's important to keep in mind. Grom de Ponch. He's kind of just going to run in here and blow things up, I think. If I were to take a guess. Like, I'm pretty sure he can just run in. I definitely want my missiles shooting their missiles. If I can help it. Or maybe their archer. These things. Go, uh, Grom. Let's get these guys in. And I'm hoping that the pump wagons do a lot of work, but I don't actually know how they're going to do. It's important to keep in mind that the trolls do have very weak leadership, so it's very likely that they're going to break. And hopefully we can just have our frontline deal with this. Look at Grom. He doesn't care. In fact, I might need him back here. If I can kill these river trolls pretty quick, I imagine that we're going to win. With the titty... What? The fishy tittle muncher. Um, we're using spirit leech. Oh yeah, she can breathe on people too. We're using spirit leech to uh, kill this guy. Spirit leech is a great ability. And they added the river hag so that... Uh, there it is. Here's the wah. Restores HP, plus 24 melee attack, plus 25% base weapon damage, plus 25% armor piercing damage, immune to psychology on a map-wide effect. It's pretty good. But with the addition of the River Hag, the Greenskins have it access to more magic. Because magic is great. Also, we're in just like a giant blob fight, but you can kind of tell what's happening, right? Get in there. The fishy tittle muncher. I feel like saying her name is going to be challenging. Look at Grom. He's so bloody. We pretty much won, though, right? Yeah. Let's see. I can get my chariots to chasing guns. The pump wagons. Calling them chariots might be a bit of a stretch, but... You know, they're okay. I definitely want to be able to upgrade them, but I'm not sure why it's saying I need the Arachnorok upgrade. Because that's, like, very, very late game. Chase him down, boys. What's happening? Should be fine here. Just having fun. See if I can... Actually, I don't want to kill him, do I? I don't. If he dies, then they'll get a new leader and be at full health again. So yeah, Grom can just kind of solo stuff early on. It's really nice. Look at our pump wagons. Putting in work. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have had the the roller one go against the orc boys, because they have more armor than the goblins by a lot. Hmm. We'll eat him. Why not? Blacktooth's Revenge. 
Nice. That goes on... Ooh. Oh, yeah. I remember this. So if you defeat the war boss, the leader of another orc faction, greenskin faction, you can confederate with them. Sure. You have uncovered <laughs> a new cooking ingredient, my lord. Extract its benefits by tossing it into the cauldron, or combine it with other ingredients to create more potent recipes. Is this only for the fishy tittle muncher? I thought it was for some reason. Anyway, she can have it. We have the Sword of Strength. Grom's getting that. Sorry. So with the giant river troll hag, I kind of think we should get replenished troops, but I also want more magic. I love magic. Magic's the best. And Soul Blight's probably really important if we're going to be going with a lot of goblins, isn't it? Probably. Okay. Okie dokie. So as you saw, Grom is already a master fighter. So I'm really not that concerned about him. So honestly, <laughs> you might just go down the red line and make goblins uber strong. I know, I know there's another YouTuber that's doing this. Um, but it sounds really fun. So, let's see. This is our new friend. <clears throat> friend. And, um, I'm just gonna take his stuff. Really? That's kind of my entire plan here. Maybe we should have some more rangers. Or by rangers, I mean ranged units. I don't really want any orc boys. It's irrelevant. You can get the spider hatchling, sure. Oh yeah, because we exchanged units, I can't move. That's fine. Just give me... One of each. That'll do. I definitely want to unlock shamans as soon as possible, but... Also, I think I want to get rid of this. Don't think I want that. We definitely need growth buildings here, but... We'll see. Doesn't Mount Arachnos have its own unique building, too? Yeah. The Lair of the Broodmother. Awakened. I'm piercing weapon damage for spider hatchlings. How good are spider hatchlings? They didn't seem very good. Meh. I mean, it gives you money. Is it worth it, though? Probably not. We do have a lot of upkeep at the moment. What if I just get rid of most of this army? I feel like we need to keep this guy for some reason. But I'm okay getting rid of most of this. 229. Alright. Spider hatchings are cool, but go away. You're expensive. We'll just leave this army here. For now. Also, um, as I mentioned, I haven't played this game in a long time, so if there's any suggestions, I am more than happy to hear them. <laughs> Let's get this. It does cost, um, oh, I didn't make the thingy. So we have the troll meat and we have the green spores. Growth, all provinces, and reputation. Oh, I need more scrap. I guess I can do this if I cancel that upgrade, right? Where is it? So if I do this instead. Yeah, that's fine. I forgot that it costs, it costs scrap to cook, which surprises me a little bit. So this will give regeneration for goblin and night goblins, bangers and smash, grom only, and charge bonus. Grom, like grom meets charge bonus. You have successfully cooked your first recipe. The benefits of its unique combination of ingredients will wear off once the cauldron is depleted. But a new recipe can be prepared at any time to replace the current effects. At any time, he says. You heard that too, right? Any time. Does it really matter which one I upgrade? Not really. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Squig's Nest. Congratulations, Mount Arachnos. You've been chosen. 
We got some scrap. We got some treasury. Okay, so now I can change that back to this. We definitely want to upgrade our goblins if we're going to be keeping them. Whether that's a good idea or not is yet unknown. But So what I want to do here is I kind of want you to hang out because we're waiting for the troll lady. Where is it? This one. So she should be popping up somewhere. I think she can pop up anywhere in the territory that you own. Also, we should see how people feel about us. All right, they don't like us. That's fair. You know what? That's fair. That's a little fair. Grom does kind of break everything. What I really want is an army of night goblins because night goblins are awesome. You can use your scrap to fashion better weapons and armor for your mobs. Some are a ragtag bunch, which could certainly do with them. Yeah, thank you. Oh, look, now I can do it. So it was just bugged at the start. So we can get physical resist or bo additional bonus for infantry. How much is this bonus? So we can make this 30 instead of 20. Oh my, that's attractive. But 15% physical resist is pretty good in something that's going to be always in melee. What do you have? These are the regular pump wagons. Ooh, same thing. I'm leaning towards... I'm leaning towards giving the regular pump wagons jagged weapons and the good pump wagon the resistance. Does that make sense? I feel like that makes sense. Such ingenuity, my lord. Using your scrap, you have successfully improved your battle capabilities. It Thanks, is bro. the mark of a most resourceful war boss to not waste good scrap materials. Speaking of scrap, they may have been pilfered. Don't I have... Yeah, this gives scrap. And money. Raiding is a big part of playing the greenskins. But uh, I usually don't raid very often, so it's kind of uh, not a part of my playstyle. But I'm going to try and fix that. I still think I go this way. Spidey worship. Uh, do I care about those? Minimally. Use them. I think we're gonna go back down this way. If our goal is to have an army of night goblins, then we should do that. Now, night goblins are a bit away. We need to get. What do we need? We need rank three of the recruitment place that we currently don't have even rank one of. But it ain't fun where there's no fighting to be had. Still, maybe we should take a look anyway. In case there's some loot to swipe. Well, or better yet, something to eat. Thanks, Graham. Tor Ivris is your ultimate prize. But do not be hasty. First, build up your strength and follow the guidance of your shaman's head. Before making the crossing, the warden will be waiting, protected by the mists that blanket his realm. So how do I want to approach this? I definitely want to be at war with them, and I want to draw them out, right? You have seconds to live, Orc. Speak quick. So let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do that. I don't even know what our ambush chance is. I didn't look. 70% is not bad. So he's definitely... Oh. Look. Speaking of Total War, there's a post about getting music. Probably from the Total War Access again. We have found the food merchants. Food merchants Please provide me with food. Creatures with strange powers and even stranger cooking ingredients. She can sell you her disgusting foodstuffs. Or meddle in your recipes, but also challenges you to cook for her in return for great rewards. So you can see the four options here. We can buy the Hank's carrion, which this time is boar meat. I think it's just a random ingredient. So try and remember what you have access to. I don't even know if she can try and sell you something you don't or you already have, but 
You can also cook for the hang. This is one way to unlock another uh, dish option. Dish option. Another ingredient slot. There we go. So you, you can have three and a total of four buffs, which is ridiculous. You can let the hang cook, which just gives you a random meal. Or you can rob her for scrap and treasury. I'm going to buy the carrion because we are very low on options. And I like options. Knowledge of exotic flavors. A secret recipe. Oh. So if we were to add this, we do have the scrap. What will we want? So the boar meat is charge bonus and weapon strength for all orcs. Ew. No. No, thank you. Don't want. It's gross. So we need to position this dude. Oops. To jump over here to explore this to complete that quest. That's a quest I, like, never complete. So the fact that I can actually do that is kind of impressive, really. I guess we should upgrade Lost Plateau. We can try. Okay. Let's see what happens, shall we? In a perfect world, the Dowie are going to come attack us. All right. The Dowie aren't interested in attacking us. We did complete our research, though. So this is Missile Strength, Recruitment, and Armor. This is Melee Attack, Speed, and Charge Bonus. Charge Bonus is kind of irrelevant. Melee Attack's pretty good, though. I think we're going to buy these two, and then we'll go back to this. I mean, honestly, Growth would be good, too. But we'll buy those two while we have the funds to do so. Get uh, Growth going here. More money. There was a mod. I don't know if it's still a thing. But there was a mod that lets, or that changed the currency for green skins from gold to teeth. And it was just quite thematic. It was a minor change, but it was very thematic. I used it in my last campaign, which was um, the Great Green Prophet. I never won that, but it was fun. The stupid gobos are throwing stuff at us, boss, and days be enjoying it. Oh no. There are a few of these that I'm really bad at, so let's see what we got. Okay. So this is just to access the treasure, solve the puzzle, the old one, to pock the inscrutable, never liked to... Is this Sudoku? I didn't... I don't think I'm good at Sudoku. Okay, so there are... I imagine it can't be the same in... If it's exactly like Sudoku, then this can't be this one, it can't be the dot... And it can't be this. Or this. So it has to be yellow. Oh, and number two. Shh. Has to be two. Hey, hey, we did it. I'm a genius. No, there are some of those I'm really bad at. The trickster shard. Reduce miscast. Winds of magic. Reserve and trickster shard. That used to just be its effect, which made it not so great. But Miscant's chance reduction is pretty good. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah. Hmm. Can you use it, Grom? No. Alright, it's just going to rot away for a little bit until we pick up some shamans. Well, should I siege them? Because they're not coming out of me. What if I go... What if I move a second and then do it again? Just to remind them that, you know, I'm here. <laughs> Give them a, a gentle nudge in the right direction. I'm here. Come attack me. Hello. Well, that was dumb. Let's see. Weapon strength for all. Yeah. So now I'm going to go down no infighting. I don't really care about the attrition reduction, but we definitely want healing mushrooms. The amount of replenishment you can get in this game is actually insane. So what he did is he pulled out... He's spawning a new army, right? And we can attack that to pull everything out. But it's going to be a really tough fight. It's going to be super tough. Hmm. Why is this not showing? There we go. Armor piercing against these would really help, but how much is this? 400%? 
So we'll get like five armor piercing instead of one. Just increase the this. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to do the most work against the Dawi. Let's see though, shall we? Do I want this guy over here to help me? <laughs> the AI will be more confident if they have two armies to come attack me. But I don't want them to get too big. Wish I could see the rest of this though. I'll bring in my army too. Unfortunately. Let's see what they do. Hopefully they just come at me with two armies here. As long as it's weaker than the garrison, we win. Oh, okay. Thanks, bro. I appreciate this. <laughs> I told you they'd be more confident. Now, the downside is we were in raiding stance, which means we will be slow, tired, whatever it is. But we have a new toy. I'm going to gamble. Ronaldo's with us. And we rolled the exact same. Okay. I feel cheated. There was a bug um, in one of the early Axis builds. I didn't get access to it, but I was watching someone play it. And uh, there was a bug where no matter how many times you gambled, it would always just result in the same thing. Supposedly it was fixed, but we'll see. We shall see. So, my goal, or my plan against the, the Dawi. How are we going to do this? Well, we wait. Okay, so the enemy is upon us. I didn't realize they had a uh, grudge thrower, it's called. Oh shit, I'm turn around. So I sent off one of our one of our dudes. They don't really have a good target to shoot, unfortunately, with our archers. So we should have to come up with something ourselves, I guess. I didn't send Grom out to be all bold this time, but he should be fine. And uh, hopefully we can just kill them. Kill them, forehead. And we have the Rogue Idol. This is one of the newer creation, uh, newer additions to the green skin roster. It's large and in charge. It's a pretty good description. I need the pump wagons fighting. Speaking of pump wagons fighting, or not fighting, that is. Grom is in trouble. I should have used that before. I guess you can go shoot them down. It is worth noting that the uh, these things can't really shoot clearly Boy. on most things because they have friendly fire. But Grom is getting owned. Back up. Back up. Okay, Rogue Idol, come here. Grom. No breaking allowed. He says, as Grom breaks. I'm a little worried about our chance of success if the Rogue Idol dies, though. Just a little. The pump wagons need to do a lot of work here. I'm going to pull them in here the giant cluster in the middle. Okay, there's the wah. This will give Grom quite a bit of replenishment, and he can come back in. The downside of using goblin armies is pretty apparent here, unfortunately. They are pretty weak, all things considered, which is why we were using spirit or soul blight, rather. But we're out of winds of magic for now. There goes our thing. I think we can get the pump wagons over here and kill him. We're winning, though. It's a little sloppy. A little sloppy, I will admit. But we are winning. I didn't really care about these guys getting into the back line because they're not that important. All things considered. I think I mentioned it earlier, but missile strength is not one of the strengths of the Grinskins. They are all about melee combat as is apparent with how the wall generates. I think I'm going to let them chase him down. We definitely need to kill as many things as possible here so that we can uh, more easily defeat them 
when they have the assistance of their garrison. So if we can break everything, that would be nice. Break all the toys. Oh, you guys are not helping, are you? Should be fine, though. Where's Grom? Grom's fine. And remember that Grom has regeneration, so he's going to be healing as we continue this brawl. Kind of looks like... Where's the other one? Okay, so he's still running. I'm going to bring these guys to punch the Rune Lord here. I love the Rune Lords. They're so strong. Okay, so we definitely need... Where were the... Um, where were they? Over here. I'm going to take this opportunity to kill everything. Because anything that you completely destroy will not come back. And uh, I'll see you all once I've done that. Alrighty, a Pyrrhic victory. But as I always say, a Pyrrhic victory is still a victory. I did kill the Grudge Thrower, which got 149 kills. Eh. But oh well. The Dowie have always been a traditionally challenging... Only 2%? Really? Ugh. Traditionally challenging opponents for the Greenskins. Because of their ridiculous amount of armor. We are replenishing in Raiding Stance, though. Ooh, Glittering Scales. Nice. It's actually a really good armor piece for us to get. Melee Attack, in case you didn't know, is a measure of your chance to hit an enemy. So... The more melee attack you have, the better off you're going to be. Duh, boys. Hmm. Death from above. I guess we're going to go for Degob. I kind of want to make him stronger now. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go all the way through Degabos, and then we're going to go through the Yellow Chain. Language. That's probably really good to get, though. Hmm. But what else will we even get? Guess the big lands. If I want to get a real. Wait, did that say Arachnorok? It did. Hmm. That changes things a little bit. How far can you go? Not very. So they're all pretty weak, but we're weak as well. It's probably our only really chan real chance to win, though. Let's see. How far can you move? Okay. So they're going to be slow, but we're going to bring in our friend here. What's his face? Give him another body to hit. And we'll pull them out of the garrison. Yes? Yes. Uh, my friend's not close enough. So this is going to be another close fight, it looks like. Oh, I shouldn't have killed him because it spawned a new lord. That's right. Hmm. The good news is they don't actually have a grudge thrower. The bad news is they have long beards in their garrison. Hmm. Long beards are going to be tricky. I might have to actually save my magic for just soul blight. I can't let them heal, though. Well, they are in Force March. They won't heal exactly. Oof. Gonna conquer these gates. Maybe we retreat. I do want to kind of fight it while they're slow, though. So this makes it so that they're tired. Should the enemy be attacked, retreat will be impossible. If it loses the battle, it will be wiped out. Yeah. Both of them are in that, so... Uh, we gotta do it. Alright, I need to pull out every little trick that I know. Which is gonna be... Honestly, not sure. <laughs> the best way, I suppose, would be to... Surround them. Yeah, see, I think that's still bugged a little bit. I guess our way of surrounding them is gonna be... Going around, even though they have a lot of reinforcements. What if I just run it down mid? <laughs> That's an option, isn't it? They're going to turn around and run, I think. Yeah. 
So they should be slow. Let's see. I want to try and save all of my mana. I'm going to bring in the pump wagons and Grom over here. We'll see what everyone else is up to in a minute. Our trolls are also pretty quick on their feet. Come on, Grom. You can win this, can't you? Not really. Actually, let's get... I have an idea. I have a new idea. My new idea is to get to clear out the infantry. Like, ignore the Lord for a second and clear out the infantry that's here. And then hopefully we can deal with... Well, I say ignore the Lord, but my trolls are going after him. And the goblins are like our reinforcements. Take these guys. Get these guys over here. Get these lot up here. That should be fine. We're kind of just rolling over these things while we have the opportunity. And we're building up the wall, but it's pretty slow. I'm saving my magic here. I might just not overcast, just simple cast that. Okay, so they are splitting up. It's fine. Can you shut them down? I'm tired of them shooting me. <laughs> so by breaking their lord this early, we should be in a pretty decent spot. Turn those guys off. Just turn them off. You know what I mean. Tie them up. So honestly, all we need is their Thane. The Thane's the only real nuisance now. Oh, Grom's already in here. <laughs> okay. What are we shooting then? No, no, run away. Kite them. Alright, they're dead. Let's get our trolls in here, in the big mess. And these two. Ignore the warlord, or the rune lord again. Just go in. I also need my goblins to chase down archers if they can. Yeah, yeah, do that. Keep distracting. Never stop the distraction. The distraction Carnifex, go. Except it's a goblin. Alright, here comes the Soul Blight. We should be doing a lot of damage now. That doesn't really do much. And now... Oops. Put a spiciness on top of it. Chase those. The rogue idol. Smash. Now I think the rogue idol, it oops. You two run. You two you've had. The rogue idol, it does more damage as it takes damage, is that correct? That sounds right. Which is good enough for me, honestly. Grom, what are you doing? And now here's the wah. Heal up our spike wagon. It's taking a ton of damage. We definitely don't want to lose them, especially after you scrap upgrade them. This is not like Total War 3K where your units will come back if they die. If they are wiped out, they're wiped out forever and ever. Definitely need to shut down these ranged units, but I can only do that so many times. Single cast that. Our units are fleeing. Cowards. I really need to shut down the guns. Oh, wait a minute. What's happening here? So the stone trolls. I like how the wagon that's fleeing is the one with three of them. I'm surprised they kept all their models, honestly. There, just leave the weak thing. 
As I mentioned last time, killing something can sometimes be a bad idea. A unit was wiped out, but that's just the rogue idol. The wall is wearing off as we continue chasing things down. Um, we could chase down the rune lord. If that's something I think we need to do. I don't think it is. What I need to do is shut this down. This can't exist. They're having fun. Come assist your war boss. I forgot to mention this earlier too. Whoops. But um, I do have a tradition of naming any units that reach rank 9. But if you would like to see a very specific unit name for something, you can let me know and I'll put it in for you. It's always good fun. I love naming things. It also makes it really depressing when I lose something. So, you know. Oh, that's probably not good. Speaking of losing something. Probably should have given that at least a little bit of thought. Just running something into... <laughs> into guns. These pumps are so low. All right. But we did it. And just like last time, I'm going to cut down everything that I can because I don't want them to do anything. And there is our close victory. That's weird. I did better on this one when we had we were fighting three heroes. Ooh. We also got some close calls on our goblins. I'm not sure why this is at full health, because it most certainly was not at full health. Okay, it is now. <laughs> don't ask questions. One percent. Are you serious? Well, looks like the options aren't very good. In general. I could go win this, but we're going to save that for next time. Aha. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Dawa is here. And uh, it'll be here every single day for at least a week. And then it might uh, swap with something else. But, you know. I'm looking forward to winning this. The Vortex campaign is a lot shorter than the Mortal Empires campaign. So... What am I even doing here? Hopefully. We can do the ultimate goal, of course, is to go to Ulthuan and slay our mortal foe, Eltharion the Grim, over here. I'm not sure why exactly I have vision of that, but... You know what? I'm not going to ask any questions. Bye-bye!